Hey, what's up my YT homies? Here I am coming at y'all with another wash and go video. By the time this video gets up, my last wash and go video should be up. I am dripping wet, just come out of the shower. And I have to go to work. We are in the middle of post planning. School is out, but we have post planning going on. And so it is what it is. I'm going to do my hair and I'm going to get out of here. I typically have been blow drying my hair when I get finished with it, with my wash and goes lately. But um, this morning I'm not going to have time. So what I'm going to do is take my blow dryer to work with me to my classroom. And hopefully I'll have time in there. Anyway, I just got out of the shower. And the shampoo I use is, this time is the Design Essentials Natural Curl Cleanser, sulfate free, which brings me to the fact that Sally's had that BOGO sale on all hair products except color last Tuesday and Wednesday, I believe it is. So I got the sulfate free cleanser, I got the Natural Defining Cream Gel, and this stuff right here is $25 by itself. I got the Daily Moisturizing Lotion, and I purchased the natural honey curl forming custard now for my hair today like I said I used the design essential so fair free shampoo and I used my um, Tresemme naturals conditioner and I either shampoo with sulfates now shampoo with non sulfates or co-wash depending on the, the level of buildup in my hair if my hair has a lot of buildup I'm not trying to co-wash and come out and get a bunch of chalkiness in my hair and go back to the shower and have to do it again so I'm using the, the shampoos with the sulfates or without sulfates now today my hair was not that it didn't have much build up so I could have actually used so I could have actually done a co-wash but I don't know because I'm using my design essential products I wanted to use that they didn't have the leave-in at my local Sally so I'm going to use the daily moisturizer as my leave-in so put that on this section of hair and with my hair I tried to start back I don't know whether you all remember I was finger detangling finger combing my hair religiously and I tried to start back using my dim mint and other um, wide tooth combs well I've stopped that about hmm, Two months ago and went back to totally finger detangling I find that that is better to me for my hair and so once I do this get the moisturizer on there I'm gonna section it off now today instead of using the I bought I actually purchased the honey the natural honey defining gel you no know, curl me custard with honey and chamomile That's I don't know why my camera keeps cutting off I purchased that to use to define my curls and but today I'm going to use the Eco Styler. The reason I'm choosing to use the Eco Styler instead of the um, the honey custard, and it may not have an effect on my hair, but I saw where someone in the Facebook group that I'm in had um, the her curl forming custard worked awesome, but the hair was left in like um, a fro type style, and that's not what I look for with my hair. I have nothing against the fro, but that's just not what I'm looking for with my hair. And with everything that I have going on, I'm just uber busy the ne last, next couple of days, so I don't need to have to worry about doing my hair again. So, as you can see, my hair is pretty much detangled, and what I'm going to use is this curve for me. What is it? The defining cream gel. I'm going to put some of this on each section. I like the way this smells. And then I'm going to take and put a little gel on each section. And I like to get the gel from the root, starting at the root of the scalp. That way my hair has definition from the root to the ends. And just rub it all the way through to the ends. That's that. Now when I'm in the shower and I am detangling my hair with the conditioner, as I rinse the conditioner out, I um, do it underwater, detangle underwater, and like I said, I do not use any utensils, no comb, no, yes, said utensils, no appliance, no comb, no dimming, or nothing, I just finger detangle. 
And then as I go through, I kind of do the praying hands thing to make sure if there are any flower ends, I get those. Okay, I think I may be checking back into Best Buy about my camera because it keeps cutting off and I thought it was my disc that I'm using, but it is not. And I do have the warranty on this camera. Not only do I have the warranty with Best Buy, but I have it's still under manufacturer warranty. So I don't appreciate this. And I like, of course, for my hair to be uber, uber wet. Almost soaking wet, pretty much. So I'm going to do this, finish this section, and then I will come back and let you all know what I think of my hair. Like I said, this is my first time using this combination. When I went to the natural hair show, I got um, some samples of Design Essentials, and that's what made me go out and purchase these products. And even if Stylus hadn't had they set their sale, I was going to purchase the products anyway, but I'm glad I caught that sale, though, because for all these products... I spent $44. That's out of tax, of course. A tangle there. Alright, y'all. So I am at the end of my hair. I have just this little section up here to go. And I didn't mean to do that. So then I'm gonna take this section. And I am not going to take, I decided I don't want to take my dryer to work and have to worry about that at work. So I am going to dry it for about 10 minutes here. 10 minutes is pretty much good um, drying time for me. And I can go from there. My hair is not dripping because of this cream. Normally, depending on what I do to my hair, is dripping wet with the water and stuff. But it's not because this cream is a little bit heavy. And I think, just personal opinion, right now, as I'm doing my hair, that this cream would be better for a twist out. But, I am going to rock it for wash and goes. Ah, uh, wash and defines. I don't know when I'll do a twist out again. I have not done a twist out in a while. And that is because I don't like. I'm not, I'm not going to say I don't like. I don't think my hair comes out like I want it to with the twist out. So, I just kind of have shied away from them. There are some other styles and things that I do want to do with my hair that as the summer goes along, I'm going to do some things like I do want to do in the, um, a full flexi rod set. I've never done one of those. I want to give the curl formers a shot again. I haven't done those in a while. And <clears throat> of course, I do want to flat iron my hair at some point again in the summer. I always kind of lay my sides down right here. If you've been following me for a while and have seen me on Facebook or here, you know, I like to lay those sides down. I have that old funny, funny, frizzy hair around the edges and I like to lay it down. I put a little bit more gel up in here. Okay. And kind of shake it to make sure that there's no part from where I had my separation back in the back. Just like with my other video, I am going to dry it for a minute, probably about 10 minutes with the dryer with no diffuser attachment. I'm going to put on my earrings and I'm going to get out of here. No, I'm not putting on any makeup. Even though one of my coworkers said yesterday, what is wrong with you? Because I didn't have on makeup. But some days I just don't feel like it or just don't have time. And usually doing post and pre-planning, I don't feel like it. Because, <laughs> I don't know, my students aren't there and, you know, I kind of just go with the flow. So yeah, just so I won't have to feel this wet feeling on my neck, I am going to dry it a little bit for about, like I said, about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to go on to work. What is on my pants? Anyway, you ladies and gents, have a great day. And I'll come back sometime later on today to show you my hair.
All right, y'all, this is the next morning. And I didn't show y'all last night, but my hair did have some shrinkage. And I don't pine up, I mean, do my hair this way necessarily just because of the stretch. I do want the stretch, but I also find that doing this kind of, it may sound crazy, kind of keeps away the single strand knots. another day of post planning so no makeup here put on a little bit of lip gloss but that is it today is supposed to be the last day but we do have one more day tomorrow which is a snow makeup day so yeah but tomorrow I'll be going somewhere else so I'll probably fix up a little bit tomorrow I don't know we have according to what we teach we're assigned um, various schools around the city to go to because um, our county is not opening schools will not be open on Friday during the summer that's their effort to save money which to me it's a crock of bull and I think for this snow day tomorrow this makeup day tomorrow I think they're gonna have people coming from different areas of expertise to teach us stuff which means they have to pay them which means it's to me it's kind of crazy for us to have to for them to have somebody come in and pay and you're trying to save money but just to make up a snow day you're gonna do all this it's kind of crazy to me and I kind of tried yesterday because my part was so long so I kind of tried to take that long part out of my head I'm gonna try to start doing my hair without the part but it's just kind of a habit to have that little slanted part over there on that side so kind of trying to work out the separation in the back because there is a separation in the back all right y'all so this is my third and final day coming in with this wash and define I um will know I will wear it tomorrow but I won't come in and show it to you all but right here I didn't put an elastic right there I was being kind of lazy last night I waited till I started to my shirt and everything got in the bed and then I was like shoot I didn't twist up my hair put my um, hair up so I came to find my elastics and I didn't pick up enough and I didn't feel like walking back into the other room just to be truthfully honest so this morning I'm gonna put a little bit of EVOO I'm almost out Put a little bit of that in here on my hair. Tomorrow it'll probably be, I mean, I know it'll still be good, but tomorrow I won't be worried about it because tomorrow I'm moving my mom and my dad in. Uh, with my mom, right now my dad's in the hospital, um, but he'll be here once he gets out of the hospital, depending on what happens. Um, it's a long story when I say depending on what happens, but yeah. My family has been going through some uh, some things this year, and you know, it, it it happens. It happens, and hopefully, you know, we'll have some balance in a minute. But right now, we just have to band together and stick together and take care of one another. And that's pretty much what I'm doing. And that's why my videos, of course, you know, are sporadic, but they're trying to get kind of getting back on the regular. It wasn't just that; it was school, but you know, school is over. Uh, as far as me and my education right now regardless to what I decide to do so I know I have a year I have a year to decide but in the meantime I am going to be um, working towards adding other certifications on to my certificates so yeah I have three cert certifications at this moment I am going to look into taking another certification exam sometime in June to add something. So the more certifications you have as a certified teacher, the more marketable you are, so to speak. And even though I don't plan on leaving the school I'm at, you know, you never know when the district will realign some things and move some people because some people have gotten moved this year because of the budget some people have gotten moved some people have retired it's just you just never know I feel like I don't have enough shine up in here 
So I put a little oil and I think I'm going to add a little bit of gel. I'm trying to kind of straighten up and stuff and I really haven't just taken the time to mold my hair so to speak. So yeah, put a little gel. And I'm going to get ready to get out of here. Go make me some coffee and go. No, I can't. I just like the shape of it because even though I didn't cut it in layers, it kind of like the way my hair grows, it's almost like it's in layers. Plus with the way I clip my hair just when I get ready, I think I might have made me some layers myself. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. So if you've hung in there and you've watched this to the end, thank you so much. If there are some other products, like some stuff that I got from the hair show that you want to see me do a wash and define with, let me know because I am this summer. That's I'm just a wash and define girl. Like I said, there's a couple of other things that I want to do, but pretty much I'm a wash and define girl. Look at that swing. Anyway, I'm pretty much a wash and define girl. So... But that being said, I got to go wash my hands and get out of here. And, uh-oh. I'll catch you ladies on the flip side. Bye.